I guess when I started in the 70s, I worked first in black and white, and I was documenting a small town called Hebden Bridge in Yorkshire. And at that point, I was more interested in that whole idea of photographing the traditional lifestyle that was found in this small town. And then eventually, I guess, I've, you know, when I moved to colour in the 80s, it became more of a critique. So uh, uh, from then on, I started to sort of take photographs with a, probably a slightly different mentality, whereby I was trying to show not what's wrong with society, but to try and be you know, critical and affectionate at the same time. Well, as previously, I was entirely affectionate. During the early part of the 80s, I sort of began to look and examine, really, the whole notion of documentary photography in the United Kingdom. And it struck me when I looked around that uh, you tended to have the very wealthy portrayed and the very uh, poor portrayed. And this sort of territory in the middle, which is basically you, me, and our, your viewers, tended to get sidelined and overlooked. Now, I am so middle class, it's, it's typical. And of course, Britain itself is a very middle class country, all the more so now, as uh, you feel this is almost like the most dominant class size that we have in the UK. We've become wealthier, we're all going on holidays, the middle class has expanded. And if you like, the main thing I'm photographing are examples of the Western wealth. And of course, the UK is no exception as we've become in the last 10, 15 years a much wealthier country. So really that's ultimately my agenda now, is to photograph the, the wealth of the West in the way that a photographer would traditionally expect to be going to a famine or a war or to document uh, something quite remote or in the third world. My main agenda is to photograph the first world and the wealth of the problem. I guess my work is somewhat orchestrated and, and although it is based on reality, it, it is a form of fiction because I am controlling things. So, but you know, it's meant to have some sort of ring of truth to it, if you like. But of course I do understand that I'm entirely uh, controlling what I photograph and how it's depicted. So I fully accept that it is a form of fiction, but it's no more fictional than all the other photography we're surrounded by, which often, by its propaganda nature, has a gender uh, whose job is normally to sell an idea or a product. What I'm trying to do is to puncture that and just show things as I find them, uh, and uh, to show things as I think they are, rather than how people expect them to be. These, despite their bright colours, it's ordinary sea prints. Uh, I mean, if anything, I've been talking to Connor, my assistant, that the colours should be coming down a bit. They're almost getting to the point in these particular prints. This is for a big montage on a wall, so it's fine, we can get away with it. I never want the colours to be super exaggerated. I just want them to be bright in the way that advertising is bright. I collect not only photographic books, and I've done a, a you know sort of big survey on photographic books for Fiden. Uh, I also collect, you know, this is the things that arrived today from the, you know, about my Gagarin uh, interest. And eventually, I will do another book and an exhibition of, of these collections. Uh, there's Saddam Hussein watches, and I regard really my own photography as a form of collecting.